we will discuss now learning uh, how to ensure that uh, the staff are properly trained of the, uh, the needed competency but also learning from day-to-day -day activities and learning from experience which are very powerful tool to improve safety during uh, operation so the, the first element is to, to have a correct training of, of, of the staff. This is done through uh, initial training and, of course, refresher training uh, during the, the life of the plan. It is obvious that it is essential to get the, the competent staff, uh, not only for the, the operating staff of the plant, but also the contractors uh, which intervene to uh, maintain. And, um, this uh, the competency should cover not only the technical skills in in various uh, specificity but also the specific risk of working in a nuclear installation such as the, the radiation protection and the uh, industrial safety uh, aspect so for this um, initial as well as uh, refresher training uh, the utilities and operators use a full-scale simulator for the operating staff and also use a mock-up on work site for maintenance uh, staff and uh, it's important for the, uh, the management to identify the training needs and uh, of, of its staff and also the training uh, efficiency so it's a major responsibility of the management to look at this issue you have here a picture of uh, a simulator with the uh, on the right hand side uh, the, the the control room a replica of a control room and on the uh, uh, left hand side the uh, the instructor uh, station on, on the simulator and to the most utility of uh, one simulator on uh, each side so now, <coughs> learning from day-to-day -day activities. It's important for the manager to bring staff to identify how to improve ways of working in day-to-day -day activities through the, the preparation of uh, learning reports. And it's necessary to uh, define some arrangement and a process to collect these uh, learning reports, to analyze them, to decide potential improvement and to assign responsibility for implementation. It's very important to uh, have a, a process that gives a feedback to the person who wrote uh, the learning report of uh, what action has been uh, taken. These um, learning from day-to-day -day activity and this process of uh, preparing learning report uh, both for uh, good action but also for near misses or from error is a very important tool to uh, continuously uh, improve safety uh, of the plant. Okay, <clears throat> another important aspect and uh, a way to progress in safety is to learn from incident and, and accident. We will see uh, some uh, major accidents, what happens, the uh, lessons that have been learned from Srimal Island in uh, 1979, Chernobyl in 1986, and more recently from Fukushima in 2011. Uh, you will have also a presentation of a detailed analysis of uh, an uh, incident that occurred in, in France on, in Blaye, a flooding problem that occurred in uh, 1999. And uh, we will describe at the end the uh, operational experience feedback uh, process. So, Three Mile Island, what happened? The events begin with a, a loss of normal feed water, and uh, as was expected, the primary pressure increase, and also as expected, uh, a pressurizer safety valve open. But it does not reclose, it did not reclose, and uh, so we enter sort of a, a loss of coolant accident. But the instrumentation in the control room report the order to the valve, not its actual position. And so the, uh, the, 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 the valve being uh, stuck open 
the operator has the information that it was closed and it doesn't recognize the situation. So as expected for a loss of coolant accident, the safety injection was initiated uh, automatically and began to fill the primary system. But the operator feared an overfill of uh, uh, the vessel and he stopped the safety injection. And during that time, the loss of water continued through the uh, open pressurizer safety valve. So at this point in time, the main primary current pumps begin to vibrate and the operator stopped the pumps in order to not to destroy it. And with the, the, the pumps being stopped, the water level settles below the top core level and there were no more cooling and the, the core begin to, to melt. And it took more than two hours for the operator to realize the exact situation and to reinstate safety injection. And safety injection uh, was restarted, the core uh, began to cool again. The, the accident uh, resulted in release of radioactivity in the containment building because most of the uh, uh, primary water was released in the containment building. Uh, but the containment uh, played uh, its function and only some minor uh, releases uh, was uh, uh, seen as uh, through the uh, auxiliary building. Here I have here a, a, a picture of uh, the, uh, the main characteristic. You have here the, the relief valve that stuck open and so the water discharge from the pressurizer through this relief valve to this relief tank here and they have ruptured disc on, on these tanks and given the amount of water and steam that get into this tank the uh, rupture disc ruptured and so the uh, steam contaminated uh, was released in the in the containment uh, some water also fall in the in the sump and uh, this uh, uh, sump was pumped in the auxiliary building and so some of the there was some radioactivity release uh, through this uh, auxiliary building and through the stack but very minors and there was no uh, consequence uh, for uh, for the public this <coughs> accident uh, uh, provided a lot of uh, lesson to be learned for the world worldwide uh, nuclear uh, community the root cause that was uh, identified covers design errors, uh, procedural inadequacy, insufficient operator training, and no feedback from uh, previous ac experience. Actually, uh, in the uh, two uh, preceding years, similar events uh, begin to develop in uh, other plants uh, in the US or in, in Switzerland. But in one case, uh, the initial condition was different. And in another case, uh, the operator recognized sooner the situation and nothing happens uh, during this event but should the operator at three mile island had uh, learned about uh, this uh, experience probably he would have uh, acted uh, differently and there would be have not no not no no consequence so <coughs> from this uh, accident uh, the Safe, very significant safety improvements were made, especially on the man-machine interface. Uh, through the uh, control room ergonomy to provide better information in a more synthetic way to the operator, uh, the new types of EOPs that I mentioned, the state-oriented, uh, were uh, developed because uh, there was no sufficient uh, 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 emergency procedures to cover the situation where the, uh, uh, the that the operator at Three Mile Island had to face um, uh, safety panel regrouping all the main safety parameter when installed in the control room for the operator to better recognize the situation. Uh, of course, the type of uh, safety valve <coughs> that failed at Three Mile Island was replaced with uh, new types and. Uh, that was uh, the, the, the first time that uh, uh, a core melt scenario. So core melt was uh, supposed not to happen, 
and uh, uh, before this accident and, and the reality shows that the uh, uh, Cornell situation could uh, could occur and so uh, most of <coughs> all the uh, uh, following consideration uh, in the safety analysis includes some uh, some Cornell scenario to be ta taken into account and uh, yeah, as mentioned at the beginning of, of, of this picture, uh, what Three Mile Island uh, showed that it's very important to look at uh, small events that could uh, occur because these small events could be precursors of much more severe. And it's important to detect these uh, small events uh, in order to uh, prevent them and avoid that they turn in the more, uh, more severe. Uh, sequences. Now the uh, Chernobyl accident, uh, it's a rather complex one and uh, the root cause were uh, soon uh, identified. First uh, there were some gross design errors. The, uh, the core of these type of reactors, the uh, uh, RBMK, uh, the core of this reactor is not stable in all conditions. It's stable at full power, but not at partial power. Uh, another design error was the fact that uh, when uh, inserting the control rod, uh, it begins to increase reactivity uh, instead of decreasing it. And <coughs> last but not least, this time of reactors have no real containment function as what that was the case in most uh, Western uh, plants. So besides the gross design errors, there was some also human and organizational uh, deficiency. Uh, the operating staff was under pressure from some engineers in, in Moscow to run a specific test. And uh, the, uh, the, the test was actually uh, begin in unauthorized condition, uh, especially the fact that instead of um, starting the, 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 the test from full power, where the, uh, the reactor is stable, uh, it was be begun from uh, a partial uh, power and uh, where, where the, the core is unstable. And uh, as they were under pressure to make these tests, uh, they, and that was during a night shift, the operator decided to uh, just to turn off all the safety system. And it was clear from these uh, uh, organizational and human aspects that safety was not the top priority. The top priority for the crew was to make this test that was required by the uh, engineers. So this, uh, has, uh, this accident has a terrible consequence because uh, there was a, a power excursion, the graphite uh, got fired, a huge uh, plume spread all over Europe. 20% of all the f fission product contents of the core were released and uh, 135,000 people were evacuated. Unfortunately, they were not evacuated just, uh, uh, just after the accident, but several days after and several people uh, were uh, contaminated. So <clears throat> the, the lesson learned from Chernobyl, of course, uh, in, uh, in, in Russia, the many design was made on the, the, the design change was made on these uh, RBMK reactors, which are not applicable to Western type reactor because this is very typical of the, of the Russian design. Uh, but uh, the, this uh, accident uh, shows some more lights on uh, reactivity uh, incident and accidents. And so on the Western reactor, uh, some studies were uh, revisited uh, on this kind of uh, transient and accident and uh, modification were made to uh, better control them. But the, the, the most important uh, worldwide lesson from this accident is uh, consideration of socio-organizational factors in nuclear safety and the introduction of safety culture concept and uh, we will uh, come back a little bit later on, on, on these aspects. Fukushima. <coughs> so um, 
A severe earthquake strikes northeast of Japan and uh, all the reactors uh, behave as designed so they were just automatically shut down and uh, nothing happens uh, serious uh, during the uh, 21st uh, minutes. So the, the, the cooling system remain in operation powered by batteries but uh, soon stop running because uh, the, uh, the grids, uh, because of the earthquake, has been destroyed. And uh, about half an hour after the, uh, the, the earthquake, a tsunami floods the four units and knocked down uh, not only the external but also the, uh, the diesel generator, the internal powers. So there was no longer uh, any means of uh, of cooling the the reactors and the core begin to melt uh, some hydrogen was uh, produced the containment uh, was uh, over pressured and uh, they had tried to vent the, uh, the, the the containment in order to uh, to release some of the hydrogen but uh, it was not successful because there was no power to, to open the, the valves and the pressure was inside was too high so this uh, explosion uh, occurred and uh, with the consequence that uh, we have seen the three of the reactors had some uh, core melt. So what was the, the, the root causes of uh, Fukushima? First, there was uh, insufficient protection against the tsunami. That was something known, uh, but uh, nobody act uh, to correct the situation and for instance to increase the, uh, the level of the dike. Uh, uh, another organizational factor was the fact that the reg regulator was not independent from the government and so he was not in a position to uh, require the operator TEPCO, Tokyo Electric Power Company, to make the modification uh, needed to protect correctly the plant against tsunami. Another element was uh, ineg inadequate emergency organization. There have been a lot of difficulty, of course, because of the tsunami, but also be uh, be because of the uh, internal organization of uh, uh, all the uh, TEPCO company uh, with no sufficient uh, training. And uh, last but not least, uh, a defi de uh, deficient operating experience feedback process because there's some, some of the weak points of the, this kind of plants was identified uh, years before by General Electric, the designer of this uh, kind of uh, BWR, and uh, modifications have been made on most uh, similar units in the world that was not uh, uh, taken into consideration at uh, Fukushima. So what are the, the lessons learned from this, uh, uh, fr from this accident? The, the, the first is uh, to consider more severe external hazards in the design. Uh, most of the plant have uh, a design basis for the uh, external hazards and we have seen some of them uh, in, in previous uh, parts but uh, uh, <coughs> extreme uh, more severe uh, hazards could could occur and, and should be considered so more mag margin uh, should be uh, uh, introduced in, in the design uh, for taking care of, of this kind of situation. Um, it, it is also necessary to, to consider resilience provision to cope with a plant blackout, a complete loss of power and also a complete loss of cooling. This is a very situation uh, and, and that was the, uh, the actual condition of, uh, of the plant uh, at, uh, at, at Fukushima. Another aspect is that usually most safety analysis uh, uh, concern one reactor even if there are several reactors or several plants on the site. Uh, in this particular case, there were so four units on the site and that complexify uh, very the, uh, the, the situation. And in terms of uh, uh, staff availability, it's uh, important to consider that uh, a site could be affected and several plants. Um, 
another lesson is to uh, reinforce the independence of regulators and since then uh, in Japan they, uh, there have been a large organizational modification of the regulator which is now uh, completely independent from the Ministry of uh, Industry and after the, this event uh, the European Commission uh, uh, required some uh, some tests on all uh, plant in uh, Europe that were called stress tests and that was uh, the, the idea was to assume uh, an all uh, uh, European uh, nuclear plants a condition similar to uh, to Fukushima and to, to check uh, how these uh, the plants will uh, behave in this kind of, of situation and this review was uh, reviewed by a, a peer process uh, between the various uh, uh, regulators uh, in, in Europe and uh, so a lot of modification has been made after uh, Fukushima so the from these accidents uh, it's clear that uh, uh, every utility every licensee should have uh, an operating experience uh, feedback process that is arrangement to collect incident, to analyze them, and to draw lessons and to implement them. And this is the, response, the first responsibility of the operator, but the, the, the regulators have also, and they have done, developed a set of criteria defining those safety significant events and incidents that should be reported and made public and disseminate uh, between the uh, worldwide uh, community. But not, not only significant uh, uh, event should be uh, uh, reported and scrutinized, but also the less significant ones, uh, because they could uh, 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 underline some, some potential negative trends and so helps to take action before anything serious could happen. This uh, process of uh, experience feedback uh, should be developed not only at a national level but also at the international level and uh, uh, regulators and uh, utilities operators had developed incident reporting system to share the experience uh, worldwide both between the operators and uh, regulators and uh, these, uh, incident, these incidents and uh, the lessons are stored in data bank uh, that uh, are available to uh, everybody and uh, uh, this uh, database, data bank, uh, could be used to uh, update uh, probabilistic safety analysis as we have shown previously. <laughs>